Garrett, if only the first three quarters were like the fourth quarter for you guys, what was the difference? I, I think we all could really just see what we did out there in the fourth quarter. Just compared to the last three quarters, we came out and gave a lot more energy, a lot more effort. We didn't back down from anything that the Magic put at us. Jared, uh, Coach was just talking about the energy that you guys needed to have, that that boost in the fourth quarter. Even coming in um, to the, the third quarter, that's been an issue for you guys, trying to find that energy in the third quarter. Do you think you found somewhat of an answer with that full court press? Uh, a little bit. I don't want to say, obviously, that, that's, that's tough for me being at the top. But <laughs> whatever I have to do to give my team that extra boost, Maybe we should throw that in at the third quarter to get us going. Uh, you see what it did to us on the both defensive and offensive end. It got it sparked us quite a bit. So if we need to, I think that's something we should go to. You guys were down 23 points going into the fourth quarter. Was there a message of what, whether it be from coach or amongst you guys, saying that's how you guys could, uh, you know, chip away and try and win this one? Uh, it's double edged sword in that sense. It's like. We have it in us. We, we did everything that we needed to do in the fourth quarter. And then the other side is, why didn't you do it earlier? You know, you didn't have to do all this stuff in the fourth quarter if you would have just came out in the first three. But still, just still doing what we did in that fourth quarter, I still, I still think that was amazing. Chris. Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Hey, Jared. How's it going? You telling me you don't want to go 94 feet of havoc for 48 minutes? <laughs> I did it in college, so I'm ready. I'm ready now. You know, I can get the lane, so I, I can I can keep going. <laughs> um, the last three games with Colin out of the lineup, a, a big responsibility has fallen on, on Darius when it comes to what he's trying to provide for you guys offensively. What have you seen from him just in this stretch without Colin? Uh, he's stepped up and took the challenge. Uh, he knows that uh, his are they front court or back court? The front court? Back court. <laughs> yeah, one of the back courts. <laughs> they, uh, that's the back court duo. And, you know, when half of you is missing, uh, a lot of weight is on your shoulders. And being 21 and taking that responsibility like he is, he's leading us out there, telling us where we need to be. And he just, he's handling it well. Thank you. No problem. Marla. Marla right now, our Acker Beacon Journal. Yeah, Jarrett, how hard is it on you to play the full court press? I mean, could you just explain a little bit of how taxing it is? It, it's definitely taxing. Uh, it's in the moment, you don't really think about it. All you know is try to get a steal, try to disrupt them, try to just give it all you can. and at the end of the 48 minutes, then you can rest. But it, it's quite a lot, you know, being at the front of the press and they're running all the way back down to the big man. They're running back to half court, the guard to pick and roll, and they're running back to the baseline. But, <laughs> you know, it's it's something that I think I can do and that I'm willing to do for this team. And when you, but when you start to have success with it, does it almost like give you a little boost to continue, even though it's just exhausting? Yeah, absolutely. It's like when you're making shots on offense, you don't get tired. You know, when we're getting steals in that defensive press, you don't get tired. You go right back up, take the, take the next step and slap the ground and just get ready for another possession. Thank you. No problem. Anybody else has a follow-up? Please raise your hand. Okay, Angel, we'll do two more, Kelsey, then Angel. Kelsey Russo, The Athletic. Hey, Jarrett. Hey, Kelsey. Um, something you kind of touched on, and JB said too, like, was that spark? What about it? Like, what, why was it a spark? I guess, was it just the added, was there an attitude change when it was being successful? Or what about it, like, kind of was a spark? It, it was an attitude change. It was just a mentality change. It, it just, you could feel the whole arena just shift, you know, from, the nose bleeds all the way down to us on the court. You can feel that everybody was locked into the game. We were ready to play defense. We were making the right plays on offense. Uh, it just changed everything. Thank you. No problem. Now we'll have two more, Angel and then Chris. Angel, go ahead. Thank you. Just as far as the defensive end, um, the level of aggression that you guys have to hold yourselves accountable to playing with every night, uh, 
Darius walks away and Isaac with their career highs and steals. Uh, how important is that um, on the floor and what boost did that even give you guys tonight? Uh, it's huge. I, I, I'm a firm believer in defense makes the offense easier. And they did, like how you said, a career high in steals. That just shows our offense. I feel like our offense played better tonight because of that. I, I don't know specific plays, but just looking down the stretch, passing the ball, making the right play, everybody was involved. Uh, it just, like I said, it just makes an impact. Chris, last one. Yeah, Jared, to follow up, um, what do you feel like contributed to the slow start offensively? Uh, you know, you hate to make excuses. We've been, we've been struggling. You know, it, it's mentally, physically, it's tough to see. Well, we had nine guys, help 10 guys now with uh, J-Mart. It's tough to just see all your guys out. Tough to come back after that long night. It wasn't long. It felt long, that road trip. Uh, just all that to contribute to this. But still, we have to go out with professionals and perform. Wait, I forgot about this. You know Jeremiah better than anybody, right? Yeah. Um, can, you give, can you give a brief scouting report of, of what the Cavs now have here? Um, he's great guard. Uh, he knows his role, handles the, his ball, like the ball well plays defense. He's really all you can ask for in a guard to get the ball up the court, make the right play and guard his defender. All right, Angel, I'm assuming that was your follow up as well. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Jarrett. We appreciate it. Daddy, I guess we'll start um, with the fourth quarter, the energy that we saw there and how it was different for you guys to find that energy in the other three quarters. Yeah, I mean, that was that that was a, that was a really tough game, you know. Um, I think we as a as a starter as a first group, like we we have to be better, especially you know in the beginning of the game, and our energy was not was not really good at the beginning. I would say like the like the first three quarters really wasn't wasn't that good, um, but you know the the character that we showed in that last quarter, I mean, it's a big plus for us. Um, and the way that we're playing with, you know, with, uh, a couple bodies out and everything, you know, it, it's been, uh, it's been a tough, tough couple of games for us, but being able to put a great effort in, in that last quarter is a, it's a really huge for us. You know, we were down 21, uh, and, you know, we lost by five points, I think at the end, but, you know, we, we fight till the end, but I think that, uh, you know, 40, 48 minute game. So if, if we really play for a three quarter like this, like, like the last quarter, then, you know, we wouldn't have any problems, but at the end of the day, you know, this was a good lesson for us. And I'm really proud of the guys, like how we, how we fought in the last, last, last quarter. As far as the lessons in this game, I guess uh, you can look at the defensive end and see how you guys need to establish yourselves, you know, throughout the entire game. Jarrett said defense makes the offense easier. You finish with 19 again for tonight. How did the defensive end make your night easier on the offensive end? Uh, definitely. I mean, you know, we were, we, we start pressuring them. Uh, we're playing tougher in that last quarter and uh, we were moving, moving bodies really. Uh, our, I mean, at the, at the beginning of the first quarter, uh, fourth, fourth quarter, like we were talking to each other, you know, we were saying to us that, we can win this game. We can come back, and we really did it. So that was uh, that was really important for us. And uh, at the end of the game, you know, uh, there was a there was a couple of small mistakes that, that that we did. But at the end of the day, I think this was a uh, that last quarter is a big plus for us. So now we have to just keep growing through that fourth quarter, and let's let's see if we can try to do those in the first three quarters too. Last one for me, as far as the um, effectiveness for the full court press, is that something where you guys will continue to try and build on that moving forward? Uh, I mean, that's that's like our secret weapon, I'd say, you know, especially when we're down down big in that last quarter to, to get moving and to get that energy up and to try to steal uh, basketball, you know. Obviously, Jay did a great job by, you know, pressuring the ball in the beginning. And then we had a couple of steals. We, we find some easy basket baskets and that's how we get into the game and then you know we were right there but like I said there was a couple small mistakes 
that we did. But like I said, at the end of the day, it's a big plus for us. Marla. Marla, right now, our Akron Beacon Journal. Yeah, Jetty, I know you can't do the full court press all the time, but do you feel like you almost got more aggressive on offense because of your aggressiveness on defense? Just like that sort yeah, of awakens yeah. something, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely, definitely. That that was the that was the one part that really, you know, we're playing aggressive defensively, and then that turned in our offense. Uh, we start making shots. We start playing faster with the pace, and uh, you know they they panicked at the end. Uh, you know they they lost a couple of balls and everything. So we were right there. It was 104, 104. Uh, but you know, uh, like I said, a couple of small small mistakes cost us the game, but really. Uh, for really what I saw that fourth quarter was a huge for us. And like I said, I'm really proud of, of our guys, like how we fought at the end of the game. We could have won the game. You called it the secret weapon. Are you going to be lobbying to use it more? <laughs> I mean, of course, that's, you know, that's uh, something that, you know, JB is calling, uh, but we know when we're in, you know, I'd say like, emergency call for us when we're down big that's that's something that we can do and actually we did a couple times too uh, I don't remember which game was but we were again down and then we did that defense and we came back and obviously tonight we we see the we see the results but uh that really helped us defensively and offensively too thank you Kelsey Kelsey so the athletic hey Jetty hey um we talked about and we talked about Darius the other day but you know, we finished tonight with 25 points and 10 assists. Um, just in this stretch, even without Colin, what have you seen from Darius? Um, just kind of like finding, one, finding his shots, but also, you know, the assist numbers have been going up as well and just finding guys. Yeah, he's he's doing a great job. Uh, you know, since, especially this month, you know, uh, he's he's playing great. He's uh, he's been putting us in a great positions and offensively. You know he's talking defensively. He's uh, you know like I said last time he's he's leading us right now, and you can see tonight. You know he did a, again great job, twenty five points and ten assists. I mean he's he's playing amazing. Uh, I'm just really so proud of him, the way the way he's playing and the way he's getting better every day. Um, you know he's gonna keep better and he has a bright future. That's what I can say. Have you seen, um, I guess, like how he talks on the on the court, especially like that change and, and grow at all? Like, is he more talkative or just kind of in how he leads you guys? BG? Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, he's talking to us every time, really, you know, uh, especially, you know, offens offensively, he, he's doing a great job by putting us in a, in a, in a good position, you know, setting us everybody. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, defensively, he's doing a great job. Also, I mean, that's something that really, if if we do as a team, we're gonna get better defensively. You know, and uh, he's he's trying to push us. He's trying to help us do that. Thank you, Chris. Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Hey, Teddy. Hey, Chris. I thought you're not gonna ask me anything. <laughs> All right, I won't. Do you want me to? <laughs> no, no. I said I thought I, I didn't see you raising a hand, so that's oh. why. I, oh wow. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Oh, just come in from the rafters at the end of this, Jetty. Uh, <laughs> you you mentioned throughout uh, the course of this Zoom session that it was meaningful that you guys had the fourth quarter that you did. Why? What? What about the fourth quarter made it meaningful for you guys going forward? Do you think? Uh, that we didn't give up. Uh, you know, we we could have gave up like it was twenty point game. Uh, we're we're down a couple body. Everybody you know, tired, energy is low. So, you know, we could be just, you know what? I mean, the game is over, we're down 20. Let's, you know, just play, move the ball, you know, save our energy for a Friday's game, but we didn't do that. So uh, everybody played out of his heart. And uh, that's why I think it was really meaningful for us to be able to uh, come back uh, 21, be right there, tie game 104-104, it's huge. I feel, you know, it's, and that's not easy. I mean, you know, it's not easy, but we did it. So that's why I'm, I'm glad that we did it tonight. Thank you.